Hey YouTube, this is my project for today and maybe the weekend if it, uh, I get sidetracked or got to do something else, but I'm replacing my lights on my uh, Hallmark.com Hallmark.com trailer and uh, as you can see they're pretty faded out uh, close up view there's cracks in them and the lenses could replace the lenses but I just feel at this point it's just probably best just to take my losses and replace the whole light so anyway this one here I see it's wrong way amber in back and red in the uh, front so I don't know if the other one is like that, but I'm quite certain I can just switch the lenses around. Looks like these lenses are exactly almost the same as these here. And I'm sure I can just switch these lenses around. I touch my nose, so I'll probably get sick. So I think I already am sick. Anyway, that's the plan. Anyway, uh, I'll put you back on, keep you posted as I go. All right here looks like uh, some Torx bits. Looks like a maybe a 20, maybe a 25. There, I don't think they're 15s, but take this off. See how much wiring I have to hopefully not do. You see this one actually comes. Uh, it looks like they wired them pretty nice. They uh, crimped on some crimp connect connectors. I'll take a look at that just to make sure that they are indeed crimped decent that might take a soldering iron to them so anyway on to my project well a little update here as we progress i took these screws out no these are not torx uh focus there we go if you look across they uh, are eight point and therefore a square Number two bit does work with these, so pretty happy about that. And a little difference here, there's only one light or one wire coming out, which is good. And uh, you would think that would be the, uh, well, I guess I, you'd think it'd be the black, but uh, white, automotive wiring is kind of opposite, so white is power, so there we go. Brown is actually trailer, I believe. Right, right. Our oh, red and green, I believe, are uh, left and uh, right, uh, one way or the other. So anyway, the dreaded Scotch locks are definitely going to go away. Um, I'm really lucked out. Uh, this is pretty much an exact replacement, almost, and it uh, looks like the holes are going to. Yes, the, the holes are going to line up so I don't have to drill any holes. So thank goodness for that. They have the thing grounded with a uh, another one of those uh, eight point screws. So let me take that off and continue on. Yeah, continuing on with my project here, I decided to uh, uh, definitely take off the uh, yellow butt connector that they had on here and then uh, use one of my brass uh, or copper ferrules and then my wrench or my I should say tool my crimping tool my crimping pliers and here it is I was trying to get a video of this before but wasn't able to upload it I will get that one uploaded but this one handles quite a few different sizes as far as amps and it's a like a barrel connector at the rolls the crimp in uh this one didn't quite roll in the way i kind of wanted it to but in a way it's going to be fine i don't think it's going to work to solder this very good because this wire here is uh quite corroded and uh, you know how they turn green copper turns green and i did scrape it i did crimp it really good and i'm just gonna put heat shrink over it and if it doesn't work, I guess sometime uh, later, or if it quits on me sometime later down the road, I guess I'll 
get back in here. I'm kind of in a hurry. We're uh, um, got a something to deliver here uh, pretty soon. So with the trailer, so um, I need it. So there we go. Got that one on. That was nice. The uh, Hallmark went to the all the uh, attention of putting a grommet in there. If you look in here, that's they did kind of a nice job, and they actually did some use some sealant on top of that. Hopefully I can get that back on top of there and then maybe reseal that, so. Or some silicone or something. But now I got a heat shrink uh, rolled over here, or pulled over here, and I'll shrink that on. Should be good. Uh, this one here, I think I'm gonna try and remove the uh, yellow part off of it, and uh, or just leave it on there and just solder, run some solder inside of that um connection there just to make sure these wires are very very small i'm guessing that best which what stripper did i use i think i could have used the i think i used the 16 and uh that stripped it uh maybe even 18 might have worked yeah it's not very big wire in here so it's kind of a pain in the neck to work with i wish it was a little bit heavier but uh leds i know don't take much power so on to the next step. Decided to bring up, oh, sorry for my finger, I decided to uh, bring you along. Uh, this particular uh, is a Scripto wind resistant uh, lighter. Uh, I really like these, they kind of give a little bit of a torch effect. Like that. Well, I'm gonna heat this uh, shrink tube up. Better pay attention to what I'm doing here. Oh, there we go. Sorry for the jerky camera action. But next thing I'm going to do here is a. Uh, See if I can roll some solder down into that. I don't really trust these uh, crimp connections that they did. Not very, uh, not very good job. Here's an example of a poor crimp job. That crimp should have actually put been put on the other side of this, but uh, I'm definitely going to use my tool here and crimp that again and then solder this. I'm, no need for a, a heat shrink on this one. But it is through far enough, I see, and uh, if I can, I'll try to push that back in there a little bit, but uh, I'll solder this. Yeah, as you can see, I, I ran some solder on that so it's nice and flowed on there and let that cool just for a little bit. And then I did put a heat shrink on here, so I don't want the heat shrink up so far that'll cause a connection problem. So I'll try to get that back here a little bit. Oh, come on. Not working for me. I don't have enough hands here to run the camera. So, yeah, I'll come back to it. A thing of beauty about that, huh? So this one is actually ready to go back in place. So I'll shoot that when I get done. And then the next one is I'm just, I'm not gonna show the other side. I think you got it figured out here. So yeah, it turned out to be a pretty nice connection here. I wanna make sure that there's no wire sticking through here. I don't think it's necessary to run a piece of tape over that. So that's gonna stay put. This obviously is a ground, and I have to be really careful because I think that screw just may be a little bit big for that. Uh, here's uh, here's the eyes for that uh, for that other little brass or copper ferrule I put on. And uh, let me see, where did I put that? Oh, here it is. Here are the uh, the little uh, deals I used this particular one they're not as heavy as the little light they're a little light duty uh, this one here was a little bit too light I think I know I can buy just the round barrel part and that's something I need to find and I need to find some with a little bit just a little bit more uh, 
how do you say it, thickness to them. It doesn't have to be this thick right here for the smaller ones, but for the Little ones, it, little little ones. It could be the smaller gauge ones. It could be stand just to be a hair thicker. Well, got the garbage and the tools out of the way. Uh, a little bit of road uh, dust up here, rock, gravel. Live on the gravel road, so yeah. The holes didn't quite match up, uh, but they did uh, go in. So it's not an exact perfect, but it's so close that. Uh, it looks good nothing no problems here and uh, I'll have to get some uh, silicone and put on that spot right there just to kind of seal things up so there you go I think this was a success uh, as you can see uh, the other one might be just a little bit larger in the bottom other than that that one can go in the garbage well that's this one, and on to the one of the, I'm just gonna do one side marker lamp. And I might do a lower one so I can actually grab a chair and sit down for that one.